Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. We're up here on the plateau taking a look around doing a little bit of cleanup up here. We're going to uh, take all these blocks and everything that's just laying around here and uh, take it up back to the house. Some of them we may use for fill. It's kind of the broken ones always end up over here. But for uh, safety concerns, we're going to take the, uh, the blocks that are left over and use them uh, up at the house. We decided to hold off on this uh, expansion up here on the plateau multiple reasons. Uh, we're going to let this settle a bit up here uh, see how it's going to do in the next two or three months on the rainy season. We're going to continue to double our pins in the existing piggery. So this one, uh, the expansion up here is not uh, in, uh, a really pressing concern. Uh, before it was a it was a space issue but since the pins are going to be most of the pins are going to be doubled up in the existing piggery it's not uh, a pressing concern now these poles here that were set in for this were not uh, Marcel and I had had mapped it all out and given the the workers instructions and then we had to go into town and didn't come back for five hours and as it turns out these were these were not laid out uh, as specified uh, the angle of these you can see this is the left hand side of the barn and it would be pointing almost uh, at the edge of the plateau on this side you can you can see it more clearly And this, this side of the barn would have been pointing right directly at the edge of the plateau on this, on the, I guess this is the north side. It should have been pointed this side, uh, as they're pointing this way, uh, the end of them should have been brought right to the edge of the plateau there, so that we could have eventually at some point uh, had two barns here. So these all have to be pulled up and, and uh, redone at some point. It's probably going to be several months down the road. No great loss as we're not in that big of a hurry now. Didn't even look at any of these coconuts up here to see if they needed harvesting as well. Perhaps we should have. I don't, never even crossed anyone's mind. There's, I think, six trees that border the plateau here. The drainage is working well up here. We finally got uh, the problem solved. We've had some substantial rains. We haven't had any for about a week now, but uh, we did have quite a few good rains. And so this was all working as we intended it. These are the coconuts here. These don't seem to have many coconuts at all. In fact, they look like they've been harvested. So being as this is the far edge of the property, well, there's a few left on that tree right there. But all the rest of these look like they've been harvested. And these don't seem to have nearly the yield as the ones close to the house do. They're probably in dire need of some fertilizer. As I understand it, it takes uh, 6 to 12 months for the fertilizer to get down to the roots. Uh, Marcel has said she does plan to do a bit of fertilizing on the coconut trees that are uh, closer to the house. 
The corn field's looking good enough. We'll probably harvest in about three weeks. I'm gonna do a walk around down in there and uh, see how see how well they're uh, coming along. Uh, I'll break open a a few ears and see how they're doing. This area here looks well. It's just that one little middle field there that was uh, so heavily used as a rice field that is not uh, looking well. They're stunted and they're stunted and, and don't have a good color. That one little patch there you can clear it see, you, see, <laughs> you can clearly see it that it's just not doing well at all. And that particular little area there was a rice field that had been just uh, used and used and not fertilized. The one on the far side of it is doing well and then these here are doing well. So depending on the yield I know we're gonna uh, broadcast fertilize it next time when it's tilled and then fertilize them again the way it was done this time two times. These were all only fertilized one time so uh, the next time it's going to be well fertilized. We're not going to do uh, we're going to do a crop rotation after the corn. Don't really know what we're going to plant. Um, and I'd like to get some alfalfa in that little field right there. That was the latest one that we've uh, acquired. So I'd like to put alfalfa in there, but I really don't know what we're going to plant in these where we have the corn. Uh, we may just uh, put it all in a vegetable garden. Just don't know yet. It's something Marcel and I haven't talked about. I, it really doesn't do any good for me to have uh, a lot of input anyway. It's what the boss lady wants to do. That's what's going to get done. I can just kind of plead once in a while and she'll have mercy on me and we'll We'll, uh, we'll do some of what I want. <laughs> so holding off for a bit up here. I'd really like to see how this does on a really torrential rain since we've made the improvements. I know one thing that we've talked about doing is taking one of these pipes and that's going to be, uh, uh, that's going to happen pretty soon. We're going to take one of these drain pipes and we're going to run it around the corner here and pipe it all the way back up to the tilapia pond. And we may uh, bring, a, bring an additional pipe from the other side of the plateau and run it along there back up into the tilapia pond as well. Uh, it's not filling up uh, with just the runoff the way that we had hoped. So we want to get it full. It takes a while for it to self-seal. It, it has self-sealed uh, pretty much up to the level that it's that has had water in it. Uh, it, does, it, it, go, it went down a foot in the last two weeks uh, without much rain and now it's kind of stabilized at the level as it that it has been so it is self sealing after a fashion uh, we've had some good suggestions on what to uh, on what to seal it with uh, but we're going to give it a shot and, and let it naturally seal up and see how that works so just a little update here on the plateau thank you everyone Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.